cursor windsurf and this kind of ai code editors have a big problem so most of the models that these ai code editors use have a training cutoff even if you're using Claude 4 Sonnet, it does have the training cutoff at the end of January 2025. That means if there are any updates in any of the documentations, the model will actually find it difficult to implement those updates into your code base. Of course, Cursor AI agent has capability to like search internet and scrape websites, scrape documentations, but still it hallucinates when it comes to like implementing that update into our code base. Let me just give you an example. So this is Clerk. I mostly use Clerk to build authentication system in my apps. And recently Clerk has introduced clerk billing that actually allows users not only authenticate but also you can integrate the complete billing module into your application so clerk billing was recently introduced i think on may 21st 2025 that's like a week ago so here's the problem i have like this old project where i already have clerk integration i'm just using that for authentication but now what i want to do i want to like integrate the clerk billing as well in this same project rather than using like stripe billing separately so i spent i think more than an are like asking a uh, back and forth clerk to like integrate that even i shared link to these documentations as well but still clerk was unable to like integrate that and after that i just gave up what i did i manually added billing from here i just like understood this entire documentation and then i just like created this pricing page that it is suggesting and then i like, had to do it manually but then i found solution the solution is contact 7 this is a completely free mcp server that you can add inside your cursor or wind surf and this contact 7 has updated documentation for around i think 13,000 libraries so even i can find clerk in here you can see this is a clerk sdk for go javascript clerk sdk for java and i can simply just like open this clerk and in here i can look for clerk billing particularly and you can see when i click on enter it will just show me the clerk billing documentation that is amazing now you can see in here this documentation was updated like one week ago and that particular like clerk billing was released one week ago as well that means this documentation is fully updated and now i can add this mcp server and then cursor will have access to this documentation from contact 7 and to integrate this mcp server inside cursor is like super easy you can simply just click on this mcp server button and then it will just open this github repository and from here you can just like copy this code from here go to cursor and then from here you can simply just go to your settings tab just go to your mcp tab and then just go to add a new global mcp server paste that code in here you can see i have already added this one and that's it you are not required to do anything else so now after adding that mcp server i just want to like test it so i just created two empty nexus projects one of them is nexus contact 7 test and another one is nexus without contact 7 so i just provided both of them with same prompt so this is the exact same prompt you are inside nexus project and then i provided these clerk like keys and then from here what i added at the end at the end of your prompt you just need to add this word which is use contact 7 you just like need to add this to make sure that cursor agent will use contact 7 then i just pressed enter and within no time it integrated the complete clerk billing and i can even test it in here so this is the project running in here on localhost 3000 and in here you can see i am logged in inside clerk and you can see when i click on manage account from here i can access this billing section and when i click on the switch plans we can see it is fetching all of my plans that i added inside this clerk dashboard so this is my clerk dashboard and i have all of these different plans in here and you can see it is fetching all of those plans right here now when i click on subscribe it will just open this uh, payment pop-up and from here i can just like pay with a card on the other hand there is this project with Without contact 7 and this project i provided this like exact same prompt to this project then i did not add that use contact 7 at the end of this prompt so it did not use contact 7 it rather used the in the documentation that I actually indexed inside my documentation section in here you can see the clerk documentation index in here and then it goes ahead it just like tries to integrate that and even like it tries to integrate that and even like it does some unnecessary steps as well it tries to like install stripe plug it even like it even tries to it even tries to install and it even it even it even it even installs stripe package as well which was unnecessary but yeah at the end of the day it did not implement the integration with one prompt which i wanted so yeah this was it about today's video if you have any further questions please leave your comments in comment section and subscribe to this youtube channel as well i'll see you next video Bye.